All right, guys, we are now over at the Ghidorah booth at SEMA, and we're here with Robert, who's going to show us something from Ghidorah for making life easier on servicing struts. Thank you very much, uh, Robert. Um, I'm going to show you how to easily replace parts of a strut within five minutes, which fits universally all models. We haven't found the one which doesn't fit yet. So what we do is we take it out of the car, we put it in the tool, support it under shock, lock it into place, but don't tighten it. So we leave this as a security, we leave it open, no tension on it. And then we have one set of jaws. With those jaws, we do all of them, but we don't touch the spring with this tool. The only thing is we symmetrically position the jaws and then we gently take it down. The moment you feel resistance, you just give it two turns. I feel resistance, I give it two turns. And you can actually see the shock absorber. And then, this is obviously rigged, we take away the safety. Because we do a lot of these demonstrations with this strut, this is a Lexus RX. So the moment it's, the safety is off, we take it up. Look at this. Shock absorber stays in position, because we don't touch the spring, we no longer have to worry about it. So the moment the whole unit is tension free, if you're just replacing the spring, take it up a little bit higher, a new spring is always a little bit longer. The moment it's tension free, you can feel it, we slide away the jaws and we take off the parts in order to replace the ones that need replacing. So taking it apart is never a problem. Putting it back together usually causes some serious issues. What do we do? We put every single part together as it should be. And then we look through the hole to the piston, like this. Then we position the jaws. Once again, symmetry is key. And symmetry can be obtained by the four holes in the diagonal beam. The moment we take it down and it starts adding pressure, the moment there's pressure from the spring, you actually have safety but also adjustability. Because if you have a BMW, it's slightly offset, you take it down symmetrically and you pull it back up and then you can go right and left. But what you can also do, if the, the plate is slightly tilted, you can straighten it out with the key. And to make it even more fun, the shock absorber is not always exactly where you need it to be. So we take the lever, we take it down to the machine, and then we can actually tilt the entire shock. We can tilt it. This is example, of course, because it was already straight there. And we tilt it to exactly fit where we want it to be. And then with the, the accessory as a key, lock it into place and position it tension free exactly as should be. Take it all the way down, put back the safety. This goes on 80 newton meters. And then release pressure. And within a matter of minutes, we have replaced. And this tool fits any shock combination strut out there. Really quickly, you touched on when you have a strut assembly that has a key in the middle where they're really tight to get loose. You have a solution for that as well, right? Exactly. So we have a key set which coincides of adapters, 5 16 inch, and with this we can lock any kind of shock in the center, and then it comes with the socket to go around it, to lock it in place and release the socket. And it comes with the keys to operate it as well. And it works like this. And if you have the one with adjustability, you can even guide the wire out here. 
Awesome, thank you so much for that demonstration, Robert, out here at Ghidorah. All right, guys, we've made our way over to Knipex here at SEMA 2023, and we are here with Addison from Knipex Tools. He's going to tell us a little bit more about some products today. Yeah, so today we're talking about the 950520. It's our angle electrician shears. I'm going to start with the top of the tool here. We have a cutting blade for your finer wire. You're going to cut just a few little snippets off of this wire here. The next cutting blade, this has been one of the most popular hits at SEMA 2023, battery cable. This cutting blade here will go through that battery cable like butter. You also have a lockable adjustment here with two types of crimping for 12 and 10 and a nice ratcheting spring that can make that cutting available all day long. So now we're talking about the 0822185. It's our new needle nose combination pliers, also available in the dipped, the multi-component, and the 1000 volt insulated handles. Kind of a few di different things kind of going on here. You got the needle nose tip for those confined areas, the nice milled groove gripping area for your cotter pins and nails, nice pipe gripping feature there in the middle, and a nice high leverage cutting design for that hard wire. The one thing that I like to show people is unlike on a traditional lineman plier when you're only getting two points of contact, you're actually getting three points of contact here, one on the top, the middle, and the bottom area. So I'm gonna take this Cobra plier here, I'm gonna grasp that on there, and that tool's not gonna to go anywhere. That's three points of contact gripping with this needle nose combination plier. And one last thing I will talk about, jaw protectors. I know for the automotive industry, this is a huge need. So finally, we had them for the market. You got a bottom and a top jaw. I'm just gonna slip these on here. I'm able to lock this on, and I'm not losing any torque with this. These are all smooth. Completely plastic, smooth jaws, won't mar up the finish. A little bit more information on these. It's coming in a three pack, right? Because it is a consumable item from yep. Knipex. And uh, what we're looking at for retail pricing on some of this stuff. So the electrician shears come in just around $50. Obviously, um, here's our distributor list, right. kind of all over the place in terms of pricing. Um, the the um, jaw protectors are very inexpensive. Again, pack of three. Um, they are, you know, they will mar up over time, but again, that's why we give you a pack of three. And then lastly, with the needle nose combination pliers, these just launched. These are right around the $50 mark as well. Of course, depending on the handle and stuff Absolutely. like that. Yep. Right. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, now we're with Craig at Knipex, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about some products. Hi there. So right in here, I'm going to start with going over our hose clamp pliers for our spring clamps. Now, this will work on all four different styles of clamps. It's adjustable. It's locking. So when you get it on there and these little cups rotate, so you get it on there, they lock go. It'll click, it'll lock. It'll actually keep the pressure off the clamp. You can turn it, they won't pop off. Then when you're all done, just hit the release button, go away from it. The other one I'm gonna show you is for click clamps. Now you're gonna find these on some of the imported cars. So what this is is, for this particular style of clamp, you have the jaws front to front. You grab it in the middle, kind of like this, and you give it a light squeeze and it'll pop open. Then to relock it, you just grab the two ends and it clicks. Now for this style. Right, that one we're familiar with on the turbo Subarus and the later model Subarus for the PCB system. That's absolutely right. You put the jaws opposite each other, front to back. So you come at it like so. It'll pop it open. Then you can turn the jaws or spin the tool Relax it, so that way you can keep using the same clamps. You don't have to cut them off. All right, guys, we are now at the Vessel booth. You know I love Vessel products. I love those Japanese JIS screwdrivers, and then they've got everything out on display here. We've got the Wood Compo set. We've got the Mergadora set. We've got the ball grips, the ratcheting ends. We've got all of the sets laid out, and we've got a couple of new things coming out to market soon. You've seen I've used the electric screwdriver quite a bit in some of the videos, especially for dash work before they had a high speed and a high torque version. Now they have three different variations with different RPMs and torque ratings, all of them up to 88.5 inch pounds of manual force. There's a new set of bits coming out we'll look at in a little bit. And we've got some more new sets coming out with new handle designs. This one, especially the gel comfort grip, really, really like the feel of that. Looks like they're gonna have them in red over black and black over red. 
really excited for that new product coming out soon. So guys, here's an interesting little setup they've got with a magnetizer, demagnetizer to magnetize those bits when you want to grab onto those fasteners and demagnetize it when you don't want any kind of magnetism near what you're working on. Also got these neat little limited edition black and gold bits coming out closer to the end of the year, maybe around December. Bigger sets, small sets. We have this set, seen it on the channel before. Check out this little one right here, it's spring loaded. Pops up, bits are ready to go. And this is the new set that we were just looking at on the flyer. Lots of little bits all integrated in here. Just about everything you could want as far as Posi Drive Phillips, Torx, Hex, and uh, a couple of nut drivers and uh, just a good selection right here from Vessel. All right, guys, still at SEMA 2023, we're here at Induction Innovations. You've seen me talk about the Venom HP many times, and we are here with Cliff to tell you more about what they've got here on display at SEMA 2023. Hey, guys, I'm Cliff. I'm with Induction Innovations. This is our Mini Ductor Venom HP. It's our fourth generation Mini Ductor. We started out with our original handheld induction heaters in 2004. We're all the way on our HP model. We're, the new, nice things about this model, we have our patented twist coil lock so we can quickly change coils in and out, unlike the thumb screws of the predecessors as well as, well as the people that tried to knock off the earlier models. What we're able to do is imagine being able to take a bolt, heat it up very, very quickly without having any of the repercussions of a torch. As you can see, I'm able to hold on here without having any problems. We're using 1800 watts, so we're hitting 80% faster than any other mark, unit that's on the market right now. We're getting a nice penetration all the way through, and as you can see, the water's already resolved, going up the threads and dissolved. We're hot enough where I'm still able to hold the tip, but at the bottom, we're all heated up, ready to go to start freezing up that application. So not only are we able to do nuts, bolts, things that are sealed in with Loctite, we're able to free up components quickly than ever before without having any of the repercussions of a torch. So make sure we don't, not busting our knuckles, we can help you get your nuts off using induction heat. I think we got something here we haven't really talked about before on my videos. We talked a ton about the Venom HP and getting those rusty nuts and bolts loose. But you got something here for taking off adhesives and vinyl that are really, really stuck and leave that glue on your painted surfaces on cars. So this is our mini pad. This is one of our, our things that we don't talk a lot about and we wanna get a little bit more information out there. So what we did is we made a pancake coil. What we're able to do is instead of having to worry about burning powder coatings or paint, you'll see that I'm using consistent motion back and forth because we wanna heat the piece underneath. We're getting that same 1800 watts that we run right out of our, nor our unit normally through our work coil, but instead we're putting it underneath through the molding. As you saw, that piece was stuck earlier. We're actually able to come in, and I'm able to take it and pull right on up. Pull that adhesive right with it, too. You don't have to worry about getting out Nothing and refinishing, fine. trying to get that off the paint. Comes up as one solid piece. And you can see this is not even hot. You can, Rob's able to touch it right here. There's Just no barely heat. barely warm to the touch. All my heat is here in the metal. And what we can do is, since we didn't lose any of our double-sided tape with it, we're able to reseal it down. Same thing, we're gonna heat the metal underneath to get that, that bonding capability and reaction again. So now that we've done that, this is gonna be restuck once the metal recools. Awesome. Thank you, Cliff, for that overview of Induction Innovations and your Venom HP.